Well, welcome back, guys. Um, in this video, we're just going to put the governor on and check the backlash. It's, it's not critical, but I just like to check, make sure there is a bit of play there. And then we'll put the uh, number two flywheel housing on. So I'll cover this governor in another video when I do a tune-up on the engine after it's complete. But this is a, a variable speed governor. And that's different from the limited speed governor that's on my uh, truck engine there, the 453T. So this is made to run at a constant speed. And if a load's applied to it, it's to maintain the RPM. So a little bit different. Um, like I said, I'll run through that in another video. really tight fit. It's very tight. There's a, a gasket that goes in here as well, so there's a little bit of overlap on there, but the gasket takes that up. And you just check. You can clearly see uh, a little bit of black backlash. So I just wanted to double check that before I put the housing on it and uh, bolt it all up. Hey guys, just torquing up the uh, camshaft gear bolts and uh, the front pulley bolts. So I, I've done the two back ones and you torque them to 300 foot-pounds and you, you stuff a rag in there to jam the gears up and uh, torque away. So we'll do the, uh, the front two. I've already snugged them up pretty nice. foot-pounds and then the gear is going to turn the opposite way now so that rag will come out and I'll put it in the underside there Make sure I got no rag debris in the gears. And then I'll show you this camshaft balancer system here. Alright, that turns over really nicely. So, this is unique to the two stroke Detroits. These off-centered balance pulleys. So they got weights here and here and then they're opposite on this side here and that counteracts the, the vibrations of the engine to make it run smooth. So it's, it's pretty cool. But anyway. Okay, we'll rotate the engine and then we'll put the uh, cover on it. Okay, I normally do this with my forklift, but I have to go out, move the truck, bring the forklift in, and just not willing to, to do that, to be honest.
for it here. There's two Dells lining up. And then the rest comes after that. Big thing is to line the gasket up. bunch of bolts and uh, we're golden. I'll put this monstrosity away. Let's 
slowly getting together now. It's starting to look like a Detroit. Wow. Happy times. So we'll probably be shutting her down for Christmas though, guys. Okay, we're going to torque the housing on now, so I'll torque everything to 23 foot-pounds and then uh, some of these torque values are different, so I'll just torque these down now, and then torque the other ones separately. these special hardened bolts around the idler hub and whatnot go to 45. Okay, that's it. That's the housing torqued down. So these are the special bolts. Uh, these go to 30, 30, and then these other ones go to 45, and these guys go to 26. That's it, so while you guys were gone, I took the liberty of finding, trying to find all the parts for this thing. I found this uh, piece engine mount, so that's on. And now I'll put the uh, oil pan on. So I gotta go clean that up, it's, uh, it's pretty messy. And so. yeah, the oil pickup and all that stuff, so do that next. So there you have it guys, that's the uh, the housing on. So it happens to be a number two housing and this is an adapter ring to make it a number three housing for the compressor to fit on. So that's the rear housing torqued up. 
So we'll put the oil pan on next. And again, thanks a lot for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next uh, video. Thanks a lot. Take care.